Hey, welcome back to Heirloom Lessons. Um, today, we're gonna chat a little bit about the things that I like to take when I go, uh, when I step away from civilization, where I am um, relying on myself for a sprained ankle, uh, a broke down vehicle. Uh, of course, it's always best to make sure your vehicle's in top notch condition, but nothing um, can cover all circumstances. There are potholes, there are sticks that can come up and put a hole through your oil pan. There's a lot of things that just happen. Uh, first and foremost, understand where you're headed. Clearly research it. A little bit of knowledge is better than no knowledge. Uh, you want to at least kind of have a topographical mental picture of where you're going and what direction would be advantageous. Uh, keep track of where the roads are, uh, watch things, see how well-traveled these dirt tracks are. And this is primarily about being off-road camping, uh, so on and so forth, but it has a role kind of anywhere. Um, your phone. Your phone is extremely important and your phone is only as good as it is charged. I generally carry a little backup power pack. This will charge that phone four times and a way to get the juice out of it. So I kind of keep that together. Um, I divide all of my stuff into like little groups, uh, little bundles, so to speak, depending on where I'm gonna go and how long I'm gonna be gone. This stuff would be considered my minimum. This is, this is what I kind of keep in the vehicle. Uh, all of this may look like a lot, but it'll fit in a small bag, um, you know, with a water jug. But this is kind of like the minimum. If you've never been stranded somewhere, even at an airport, or there's some things that you just kind of want to have. And it has made the difference for me in uh, kind of just getting by and even being the life of the party and celebrating the fact that you got to meet new people and enjoy the experience. Number one, I carry water. Everybody should carry water always in their vehicle because uh, you, need, you need to be hydrated. Um, I'm not over zealous on this concept, but water to wash your hands, water to splash on your face, water to drink, um, water to put in your radiator. Water is a big deal. Um, next to that, you think about walking for help. I generally will carry um, a hat. I recommend a full brimmed hat. Keep the sun off you and keep it off you well. I have an affinity for tin cloth, which is waxed canvas. This is waterproof. Um, seen a lot of mileage but very important to have a hat. A uh, pair of sunglasses, uh, you know, can make your experience a lot, a lot better. Um, outside of that, I carry some other things here. I carry a couple of handkerchiefs. Uh, you can douse them in water, put them over your head if it's hot. You can bandage a wound. Um, just a number of things you can do. Um, sanitation paper, toilet paper. Uh, just put it in your car because it, otherwise you're gonna come home like I have in the past with two less sleeves on your shirt. And that's just the way it goes. I I'm spent a lot more time um, outdoors than a lot of people do. Not as much as some, but more than others. A water filter, great idea to carry some type of uh, water filtration because again, water, huge, you can't, can't, can't stay alive long without water. Uh, of course, I carry a mini lantern and a lighter. Um, next, I'm gonna tell you that these things are optional, but your ability to make good decisions and slow your mind down is super important. Um, a lot of people will carry books when they're uh, hiking and you say, why would you carry, well, if you break an ankle and you're stuck somewhere for an extended period of time, even with an in-reach, uh, cell phone with signal, battery, you got to keep your mind busy or you will start to imagine things and you have to think, 
what if I don't have food? What if I don't? And so you start, your body starts to go through a lot of different things. You start to doubt. If you can keep yourself busy, deck of cards, some dice, I carry a harmonica. Not that I can play the harmonica, but I've entertained myself for hours waiting on a tow truck, waiting on a rescue, just tooting into a, mark, a harmonica. Uh, at minimum, you want to carry a multi-tool and understand how to use it. A multi-tool uh, has blades, it's got pliers, it's got screwdrivers, it's got just a bunch of good stuff, mini saws. Uh, excellent tool to have. Again, in the interest of keeping your mind busy, you can just start cleaning your battery cables. I have literally been stranded and I'm waiting on helper. This is before cell phones, when I was 15, 16 years old, I'm stuck on the side of the road or out in the mountains somewhere. And my only choice then, being that young with limited experience, was to just kind of wait until somebody passed by. I took out an old Leatherman, which I still carry, it's on one of my vehicles, and I started cleaning battery cables. And as I was cleaning the battery cables, I'm like, Huh, this little thing's disconnected here. I'm already broke down, so as my dad would say, you can't ruin it anymore, it's already broken. And so I just kind of put a little wire together. It made sense, they looked like they kind of belonged. And all of a sudden my vehicle's starting them out. So just the ability to keep yourself busy, fixing little things, not, maybe not fixing them, but just cleaning, just, just staying busy, staying active. And sometimes it just unfolds in front of you. I carry uh, some paracord uh, because you might ruin a shoelace hiking out. I mean, just things happen. Uh, a little bit of cord, it's not going to hurt you. It doesn't take a lot of room, but if you need it, it's the difference between taking your bootlaces off and, <laughs> and, and keeping your shoes all together. I carry a flashlight. Um, you should always have a flashlight. I know there's a flashlight on the phone and I know we've got a charger and we've kind of gone through that. Still great to have a flashlight uh, for signaling. Any flashlight's better than no flashlight. Um, I like these little um, Surefires. I like them primarily because this only takes one battery uh, CR123A and the, these batteries have a 10 year shelf life so you can carry a battery with enough backup power uh, you know to kind of keep yourself together uh, of course from there you can light a fire if it's at night I mean there's just a number of things you can do a cup always carry a cup because you may have to get water from a hole there's something you may have to take some oil out of one location, transfer it to another location. It's just good to have a cup. It's just good to have a cup. My twin sister makes these little things for me. She's made several. Um, this is what she calls a minimalist kit. Uh, little perfume, she's got some Benadryl, cough drops, uh, Tylenol, uh, little mini mini lighter that's well sealed, a uh, little flashlight, velcro, band-aids, toothpicks, uh, tooth, pre toothbrushes, little mini toothbrushes with some toothpaste on them, safety pins, things like brushing your teeth when you're out there stuck for you know 36 hours, I mean that can, that can make you feel really good and hopeful. A little bit of paper, uh, also, one of the things that I forgot to mention over here on this side of minimum is a marker. You can write on your window. <coughs> Please don't leave. Here's the time. Here's the time I left. You can write on your hood. I mean, getting out is getting out. We're not worried about preserving the paint. We'll deal with that later. But the ability to leave a note and, and say, I don't even know what direction I am going, but I'm going in the direction of... and point out a landmark, a tree or something. Um, I put three rocks in the direction I'm heading and that kind of lets people know where you're going and where to look for you. So this is kind of the minimum. Generally in this minimum pile, um, 
I carry this bag because with the bag I can forage, I can collect rocks, I can just keep myself busy. Um, to just sit there and think, you know, and get, um, and, and to just be sad about your circumstances is a horrible experience. So I like to, I, and I've used this bag, I've carried this bag for probably 35 years, since I was like 15 years old. So maybe like 34 years. Um, and I've had this bag since then, and I've traveled with it and put a change of underwear in there, change of socks, super important. And wow, you know, it, it's enough to lift your morale and keep you enthusiastic. I keep um, some tuna, I keep some oysters. You don't have to like it, you just have to stay alive. Uh, some nutrition bars, so on and so forth. Um, away from the Leathermen, it's always great to have a pair of channel locks, a six in one. Again, these things, even if you're just tinkering on the car, staying busy, keeping your mind occupied, super important. When I'm going a little bit further, these two boxes, as well as some others with more extensive gear, but this would be a secondary, which is a full toolkit, um, which I generally have in my vehicle, but this is like my, if I'm switching from one vehicle to another, these are the boxes that I take with me for a little bit longer. Um, I've got toe straps, I've got electrical tape, I've got a full toolkit with sockets and wrenches and torx bits and allen keys, um, plastic bags in case I have to lay underneath the vehicle, carry water in a, in a you know, contractor's bag, a heavy uh, trash bag, super good to have. And this stuff, a little bit more luxury items, but not really, depending on where you're going and again, how long you're going to be by yourself. I carry a first aid kit. This one's really full because I've used some of the stuff. And as I use it, I realize how important it was to have it. And so I'll put back two or three. Uh, latex gloves, super important. Gauze, super important. I mean, there's two things that just do a wonder for you. You can make a tourniquet. You can do a number of things. I carry a tourniquet. And if you ask me why, the answer is simple. I have used them before. I have needed them. So that's super important. Um, I carry some soap. I like to wash my dishes, um, wash my face, wash my hands. Uh, I carry some rope, uh, as well as a lantern. When I'm going a little bit further, I'll carry some sterno fuel. This will get your fire going, um, I'm sure. Uh, I carry some flip flops, plenty of paracord. I do carry a hammock with some stakes and a tarp for shelter. Um, and this stuff is literally the difference between, wow, I got stuck and check out these pictures. <laughs> I was out there for a day and a half and this is what it looks like. I played some music, I played some games on the phone, I had plenty of battery, I could step away from my miniature impromptu campsite uh, in the middle of the night to use the restroom. Um, I washed my face, I stayed clean, um, and that's what it looks like. I recommend this stuff. I am not the authority. I'm not telling you that this is what to have. You will have to develop what works for you. You will put the things that you like, but these are some considerations. This is just heirloom lessons that my father taught me, and make your own kit. But here's some suggestions that have made some otherwise bad experiences quite bearable for me. Thanks for joining. Tune in next.